Trying to make plays. Uh, be assertive, help my team win. And uh, blessed to be able to make a couple, you know, and down the stretch. How many stitches did you get? Enough to close the wound. Do you know, um, well, you know, can you tell us what happened? Uh, I got hit by, by, uh, by Zeller. He went down the lane with my rotation. I was able to strip the ball clean, and his, uh, his head hit my face. Was, was there any correlation between that collision and what you did in the fourth? Um, I was just on the, the training staff, just trying to hurry him up so I could get back on the court. You know, um, it takes a little bit of time because obviously they're not ever, you know, not really prepared for something like that to happen at that moment. So, um, but you know, just trying to be as patient as I could because I wanted to get back on the floor. And, uh, I knew he wasn't playing, uh, you know, with a good pace. You know, when I came out the game and you know, especially in the second quarter. But just trying to be assertive and uh, like I said, I was able to make a couple plays. You were ahead one for something when when you started to run. Is that something you can force? Can you say at a point like that, I, I'm taking over this game? No, nah, you can't force it. You got to let it come to you. I mean, there's times where you wish you can do it, and sometimes it's just, the balls just don't go in. But I put a lot of work into my craft, and I believe that every shot I take um, is going to go in. But, you know, without my teammates setting screens and defending and getting rebounds and keep cutting and things of that nature, then none of that is even possible for me. So, you know, they get the most credit. After you missed that dunk, it seemed like the whole team kind of went into a funk. Did you feel that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we had an opportunity to go up 20 to 10, and then after that point, they kind of went on a run. And, um, you know, so, you know, momentum plays like that, it doesn't execute. You know, it kind of you know, takes the life out of, out of the team sometimes. Now, so far this year, you're the NBA leader in fourth quarter scoring, and that's statistically been your best quarter. What, if anything, changes for you in, in, those, in those moments? Well, I mean, you know, my team look at me <clears throat> to be that scorer, you know, now. And in the last couple of years, obviously, Kyrie being, you know, as great as he was in the fourth quarter, you know, we can kind of pick our pick our games. You know, it was you know, games half the time that he had it going, hey, go get it. You know, there's games half the time when I had it going, I go get it, you know. But it's, you know, right now, you know, my teammates look at me and they're like, okay, like, this is your quarter. You've done this for your whole career. Let's try to make some things happen. And, uh, you know, it's very important that I try to come through for them. You, had, you felt like you weren't giving your all in the first half, uh, so to speak. Did you feel like that was a fair assessment from him? I mean, whatever T. Lou said goes. So, you know, he knows how to challenge me sometimes. And, uh, you know, after the dunk, you know, and then I came up and pulled a 4 3. That was a bad shot. Um, but they felt like the other one was a bad shot as well. The one in the corner against their big and called a timeout at that point. And, you know, it kind of took the life out of the team. So I know it starts and ends with me. So uh, I got to do, you know, I got to be better, and, uh, which I was. I was a lot better in the second half. Hey! Let's go! Back! I don't need your endorsement, I don't need reinforcement Giving you your last warning, cause I'm at my prime Yeah I'm at my prime